for more on this story, we are joined by our Leaf reporter, Mark Masters, who wrote the story for TSN.ca. Mark, uh, tell us more about what the experts are saying. Well, Rod, I spoke to Matt Nickel. He's the director of player health and performance with the Hamilton Tiger Cats. He also works with 24 NHL players. And I asked him about Serge Ibaka, the Toronto Raptor, who has set up a makeshift gym in his home. And Nickel says it's easier for NBA players to stay in shape right now, especially from a cardio perspective. There's simply no way to mimic the workout you get in an NHL practice or game. I also spoke to Dan Noble. He is a coach of athletic development at the Hill Academy in Concord, Ontario. He he works with a handful of NHL players, including Mitch Marner and Anthony Sorelli. And right now he's urging his guys to build what he calls an apocalypse workout kit. So anything they have around the house, bands, dumbbells, he says, get creative, use their coffee tables for step up drills. And Rod Noble does believe there is a way to stay in decent shape, even in a period of self-isolation. All right. What about nutrition, Mark? I mean, always important to a lead athlete, of course, but how important is nutrition right now? Oh, it's really important, Rod. Remember, these guys eat a lot differently in the season versus the summer. You know, uh, they got to find a way to take their caloric intake down now, Nickel pointed out, because they're simply not going to be burning off as much. A lot of these players rely on their teams during the season for meals, rely on restaurants, rely on food services. Noble's wondering how they're going to deal with more downtime. If they're playing more video games, if they're watching more Netflix, are they eating more junk food? Are they working out even more than they usually would? Noble says it's really easy in a month to lose 10 pounds or gain 20 pounds and neither swing is ideal at this point rod no uh, assuming the season does restart at some point what challenges are the players facing when it comes to just revving up again it's funny, both Nickel and Noble pointed out that uh, a break of a little bit is actually really positive at this time of the year because the guys are so beaten up over the course of the season. But once you get through a few weeks and certainly more than a month, it gets more and more challenging. You know, Noble is saying there's probably going to at least need to be a two-week mini camp to get the engines revved back up uh, once teams start get practicing again. While Nickel, you know, he is saying that it, there's going to be a decline in performance. There's no way around that. Once guys get back he says at least everyone will be in the same boat what are noble and nickel hearing from players right now well, a lot of confusion, especially after the pause was announced last week. You know, Nichols lived through a couple of lockouts here in the hockey world. He said at least last time there was some educated guesses for when the games would resume. And right now, there's just a lot of unknowns. And when he talked to players, they were mostly worried about their health, the health of their families, rightfully so. He believes they'll turn their attention more to fitness moving forward. As for Noble, his message to his guys right now is don't let this season go to waste. Don't let all the hard work that you have put in this year go to waste. Stay locked in, and uh, Rod Noble says he believes whoever deals with this break the, be the this break the best will be having an advantage whenever games do resume. Yeah, and that is if they do resume, and that's the great unknown for the players right now, not knowing if or when. TSN's Mark Masters in Toronto has said, for more on Mark's story, go to our website, TSN.ca.